All right, so here's a vid showing uh, the progression, right? So I'll just go back to using the two motors. Drive motor, three-phase motor being spun twice as fast as it's plate rated for, roughly. It's, uh, it's an 1800 RPM motor. This one's a 3515 RPM motor. Um, just the direct nose to nose. Uh, because of the double speed on this side, we end up with uh, 120 hertz output being driven at 60 hertz input which would kind of make direct looping of it difficult because the frequency would then flip to 120 hertz. This thing would try and speed up. That would increase its output uh, or it would just immediately stall out and burn up or something. Um, so that makes it an iffy thing at 3600. Might have been better to have another 1800 RPM 7.5 horsepower motor, so I'll have to keep my eye out. Uh, but in any case, uh, this is just a demonstration. Uh, right now it will not reverse induce, although it is connected to the capacities and being measured with a voltmeter. Uh, it needs to have a DC battery shorted over two of the windings just a couple times briefly to throw some magnetism on it and then it would reverse induce. Uh, but I'll just show you the difference in terms of input current uh, and also note that I have switched out all of this capacitance. It's off. Uh, I've disconnected the 50 UF cap that I had to add while driving the other 5 kilowatt alternator. Uh, and all of these have been switched off except for the 5 UF capacity. <clears throat> the three star capacitors are on. So I'll just power it up and I'll show you under no, under no VARs on the alternator, you'll see that the amp draw is very, very small compared to what's on this one. And then once I'm able to find a DC battery and short it, I'll do another video and show that with VARs on it, it's about double that but it's still under like 5 amps as opposed to the 10 amps to get 2 amps out that we had to get off of this guy, the 5 kilowatt alternator. Uh, let's flip it up. Pulley must be coming loose again. Stuff to do.